Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pinesett here, the pre-med productivity expert, and tonight I am really, really fired up because my Golden State Warriors are going to beat down the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James. Yes, I said it. I am a Golden State Warriors fan. I know. I know. True heart lies with the Lakers, but I'm going to bandwagon right now with the Golden State Warriors because i got my boy Steph Curry. If you haven't read, I love Steph Curry. Read my article on him on my blog, thepremedproductivity.com. Check it out. In the meantime, we're going to talk about the championships of pre-med life, and that is the medical school application. It is application season. It is official. Yesterday was the first day you could submit, June 1st. Today is June 2nd. You should be submitting today or yesterday, which we're going to talk about. But what I'm going to be doing is now giving you over the next couple months different interview tips uh, and different application tips to help you through the process. So we're going to start early on with submitting your application, and then we're going to move into secondaries, into the interview as you move through the year. That way you can stay up on the process. For people who are not applying yet, this is good information to know beforehand because like I stressed with the MCAT and right and preparing for the MCAT beforehand, it's the same thing with your application. You should be preparing way in advance. Preparation is how you get success. So three tips today. Tip number one, let's get right to it. Tip number one, submit early, right? It's June 2nd right now. Your application should be submitted within the next five days. If you are going to submit after the first week the application opens, your chances of getting in drop dramatically. If you submit outside of the first month, so you wait till July to submit, they drop practically off a cliff. It's so important, there's a couple reasons why. For starters, when you submit early, you get in before schools have given away most of their interviews, so they're gonna be less selective. They're gonna say, listen, we got thousands of interviews to give out, right? We have hundreds of interviews. So they're gonna be less selective in giving those interviews. That's one. The second thing is they're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. They're gonna say, Oh, this person submitted right on the first day. They must be a go-getter. And they're going to give you that secondary in that interview. So submitting early is super important. It really increases your chances. I've worked with a handful, literally, I've only happened to five different students I've worked with where they've applied late August, September, October, right? Which is way too late because schools are already interviewing at that point. You've lost out. But they have submit then. They don't get into any medical schools. They then submit on time in June the next year, and they get into top medical schools. How does that happen? Nothing really changed. What changed is submitted on time. So it's a big factor. Do it. Submit on time. Tip number two. Have someone read your materials and use spell check. I know that the application is going to tell you to draft in a text editor so that the formatting is all proper, but strategic, right? We're always about being strategic. First thing you should do is be in a word processor that has spell check. That way you can have all the grammar and the spell check checked, then copy paste that into a text editor, save it as a text file, that way it removes all the formatting, then reopen it, then paste that in your application. <gasps> Amazing, right? Dual function. But that's gonna save you a lot of headaches because if I'm reviewing your application and you've got typos, I immediately say, nope, I don't want it. Because how can you have errors and issues on what's supposed to be the most important thing you'll ever submit in your life, your medical school application, right? Med school is your life. So if you have errors on that application, I know you don't take it seriously and I don't want to read the rest of your application. So take the time, use the spell check, and then a lot of times spell check doesn't know exactly what you mean, right? T-H-E-R-E -E versus T-H-E-I-R, right? Have other people read it for you. Not one, not two, three, four, five people reading over your application and your essay. And a lot of times I know that Exposing your essay to other people can be nerve-wracking because it's personal, but it's going to help you and give you that good feedback. So do that. Tip number three is that after you submit, it's done. It's like test taking. You took the test, it's over, it's done. Stressing about it does nothing for you. If you submit your application and you're constantly questioning it every day, they do the right thing, am I going to get in? All you're doing is stressing. It's not going to help you get in. It doesn't boost your chances. Let it go. This is supposed to be an exciting time of your life. You've just made it to the point where you submit your medical school application. All the hard work is done. You're submitting the application now, and now you're just sitting back waiting for interviews to come. So enjoy the process. Enjoy going to interviews and seeing how weird other pre-meds are and feeling good about yourself and feeling cool. I felt like literally I was little Wayne when I was going to my medical school interviews because I felt like I am so hip right now and I'm never hip in a room but I was hip in medical school interview rooms so enjoy the process so that's our first three tips tip number one submit early submit on time get your stuff in if you haven't already submit right now
right now as you're watching this video. Tip number two, have someone look over your things as well as using spell check. Do it. Tip number three, don't stress, enjoy it. It's summertime, right? Submit that application, go hit the beach. If you're not in California, come out to California and get on the beach. It'll improve your life in all kinds of ways. And it probably you can rub the sand for luck and then get into medical school. I don't know. But anyway, that's our three tips tonight. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna bring in all these tips to you throughout the process to keep you engaged. If you have questions about the application or anything else, send me a question. I'll answer your questions, I'll answer them on YouTube. We can make this channel as rich as you guys want it to be. I'm here to bring you guys information and try to make medical school possible for everybody. So let's get down, let's get it done, right? No excuses, just dominate. You, you see the shirt. No excuses, just dominate. Follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Hit the button. No excuses, guys.